Hey everyone, I'm in Farming Simulator 22 and here I'm going to show you how to install mods specifically on the Xbox. So I'm on the Xbox Series X but this will work on any of the platforms that you've got Farming Simulator 22 on. So on the home screen here if we hit the downloadable content this is where you will access Mod Hub, which gives you access to loads of different mods that have currently been released for the game. Now there's not as many on the Xbox as there are on the PC, so we haven't got things like auto load um, pallets, so trailers that will auto automatically load your pallets, but there are some interesting things in here already. So for example, there are a couple of new maps in the Mod Hub here, this Calmston Farm, and this is based in Gloucestershire, UK, which is cool for me because I'm based in the UK and Gloucestershire is very pretty. So if I want to install this, um, once I've had a little look at it there, I can hit A to install. So down the bottom, if you're on a different platform, you can see your buttons there, but A to install here. Or I can press down on the left stick, on the top of the left stick to access the left stick button. And then I can have a little look through these little screenshots by using LB and RB. So if I go, yeah, I want that, I hit A to install it mod Calmston farm was now added to the download list cool a to okay um, so we can go through these and see all these things you can see there's a lot of content for example if we have a little look in cars there's a rather cool sporty car it looks very mustang-esque so if i want to install this i can hit a you can see it's got a speed of 200 kilometers per hour 460 horsepower 60,000 euros it will cost me to get so let's install that now this of course is just sort of looking at all content that we've got there's also an option here where you can see all mods or mods that are specifically uh, able to do cross-platform to do, have a little look at the difference if you press down the left stick again it says show cross-play mods only or show all mods so that's just something that you can see the variation down the bottom there on the little screen if i rb over i can see what's installed at the minute currently nothing nothing updated and you can see I've got a couple of downloads happening. Calmston Farm takes a little while to download, so it's quite a big one there. And you can see I can also install 4,000 megs of um, mods at the minute. I need to have a little look how I can increase that, but that's what we've got at the moment. As I'm RBing over, so I'm using RB to go across to the different things. I can also see what people are rating as the best. This actually might be the developers rating these as the best mods currently. But if I RB again, I can see the most downloaded and the most downloaded which i'll do a separate tutorial on is government subsidy which is a cheat to get you uh, lots of money very quickly you can also see no man's land is another map that's popular and different tractors and different stuff here um, but just before you shoot off keep watching because i'm going to show you how you then use these sort of things in the game as well so let's just have a little look um, for something else as well let's go with say a water hydrant cheap water source so this one costs five dollars a day um cost a thousand um to ins to buy it so well not <laughs> not to buy it you're using the game but to buy it in with the in-game money so we'll install that one as well um and what we should see is when this stuff is added uh installed there we go um so they're all installed ready for us to use um let's just have a little look and you can see like the best stuff seems to regularly update the most downloaded stuff regularly seems to update as well we could um, I think we'll just go with those because that's going to give us a good idea of stuff um, that's done. And the, you can see Calmston Farm highly recommended. We a weird looking John Deere tractor there. Um, what's that stations pack? Increases the accuracy of the weather forecast to which your farm is connected to. Weird. Um, I don't think there's anything else too exciting there at the minute, but you get the idea with that. So once you've installed those, how do you then access them in the game? Well, if you go back up to career, so I hit B to come back out. I've gone to the career area here and I've got my various game saves here uh, and I've got empty slot deliberately here in game save nine that I'm gonna use. So I'll continue here and then I'm gonna to go to farm manager on medium and then it will say select a map. And what I should see now is our brand new Calmston farm. So we'll use this. So that's where you access that new map when you're ready for it. And then it'll say, do you want to use this additional downloaded content? And you can see it's selected as standard automatically for you with all of these. You can see the version numbers. So if you're happy with that, you can just go ahead and start. Or you can deselect any of them by hitting X. So if I hover over one of them and hit X, I can deselect them. Or I could deselect them all if I don't want them at all uh, in the farm. 
Is it going to allow me to deselect that one? Doesn't look like it. Looks like I have it. Oh, of course. Duh. That's the farm. <laughs> That's the farm I'm trying to access. You get the idea. So let's start and see whether that stuff is available for us in the game. So remember, we had a car and we also had the government. Oh, no, the hydrant. We didn't do the government subsidy. I'm going to do that in a separate video. So Calmston Farm should now load up for us. So this is the first time I've looked at this particular map. So we'll have a little look and see what it's like. Come on, come on. There we go, start, confirm. Oh, look at this, pretty. Oh, look at this pretty old farmhouse. Oh, very nice. I'm impressed. Cool, so um, what about our mods? Do our mods actually work? Well, obviously the map works and that is very pretty indeed. I like that. Um, so let's go and have a little look at our vehicles. So I hit the screens button here and we just need to make sure that in cars, do we have the ability to buy that new car? There it is, look, Road Rage. So I can now customize it, which is quite cool. So we can have a little look here and on the customize, we can change the main color by using our left stick and then selecting the main color. It's a little hard to see, isn't it? There we go, do we, oh, I don't want to purchase it yet. I just want to, can I change the color? Let's have a little look. I get additional lights. Oh, okay, so little lights at the front there. Let's go down to main color. Is it gonna let me change that? or not change for Y. There we go. So hit Y to change the color. I could pick a different color. Let's go with a dark gray. Cool. And then the design color. Whoops, hang on. If I want to change that, I go to Y, change the color, and we'll put that as a white stripe. Yeah. There we go. And if I want to buy it, I just hit A to buy. Do I want to purchase it? Yes. So let's come out of here and then use the right D-pad to go and see it. And there we go. There is my little car in farming simulator and it looks very nice so that's how you install mods in the game the one thing i will show you just before we go is how you uninstall them as well um, so let's just quit out of here so i've just hit the menu button um, and we will go down to quick game which is down here using rb to go across do i want a quick game yes go back to downloadable content and if you just go to your installed stuff there it is. If I want to get rid of any of these things, for example, the water hydrant, down the bottom it says A for details. So I hit A for details. And then to uninstall it, I just hit Y to uninstall it. Do I want to uninstall the mod? Yes, I do. Mod is successfully uninstalled. And now if we hit back, you can see it has indeed gone from my installed mods. That's it. If that was useful to you, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. Um, and probably like me, you're probably waiting for the auto load for pallets. That would be lovely because it's such a pain in the butt loading pallets manually with a forklift. Um, but hey-ho, hopefully one day because content seems to be coming up regularly now on the consoles. So fingers crossed. Um, any other comments about Farming Simulator 22? If there's anything confusing you, let me know and I'll do my best to try and figure it out and help you if I haven't got a tutorial already. I'll put my other tutorials up at the end of this video because I've got all sorts on Farming Simulator 22. I try and cover stuff that's confusing me as well as other people. If you like, what you see i've published dozens of videos weekly not just on farming simulator but fifa 22 forza horizon 5 the witcher 3 and many other games so have a little look at the rest of my channel and if you like what you see and you want to be kept up to date hit that subscribe button thank you so much